And Alonzo uh, Ball uh, made his return to the court. Uh, like I said, my, my Bulls boycott is still going on, despite the fact that I do have a Bulls hoodie on right now. Uh, and, and even if I wanted to watch the Bulls, I can't watch them because Chicago <laughs> Sports Network think this is 1997 and the niggas going to get uh, uh, an antenna to watch them, which is a terrible rollout, by the way. But Alonzo uh, Ball made his uh, preseason return. First time he's been on the court in two and a half years, bro. Has been on the court since March of 2022. Uh, he went out there and he played really, really good for a nigga who ain't been on the court. Had 10 points, had like five assists, the three ball was still working, uh, and he said he had no pain, and he, he has a completely new knee. Um, and it was really uh, actually good to see um, the love that he got from the team and from the city, you know what I'm saying, which I thought was dope, and I feel like was handled a lot better than the Derrick Rose situation. Now, obviously, these are two different things. The Bulls were in the middle of a championship run, though, so I guess there's a little bit more of a of an urge to get him back on the court. But, uh, you know, for a nigga that don't really care about the Bulls right now, I thought it was a dope moment. And I do feel like, I think just from watching that game or the highlights of the game, I saw that I, I still stick with what I stick for. I'm not saying the Bulls would have won a championship or anything like that or even the Eastern Conference Finals. But I do believe if he was held these last two seasons, these last two seasons in a lot different. Um, that team was, what, number one, number two in the Eastern Conference when he went down. Just the way the team would have uh, moved so differently with him in the t in, uh, in the lineup. You know, DeMar gets easy shots. Zach gets easy shots. And you just saw that right there. Now, I don't know what the plan is uh, for Lonzo this year. It wouldn't even shock me if they trade him. I know this is a very, very guard-heavy team. With Lonzo, with uh, you know, uh, our Giddy, uh, as we want to call that nigga, uh, and you know, you got Zach Levine and Kobe White, Ios, a lot, a lot of guards out there. So I believe they're gonna trade a couple of those, but it was just good to see him out there. Good to see him get the love, and more than anything, I just hope he's able to get through an entire season of playing because this dude couldn't even walk up the stairs. Like so, outside of just basketball, it was good to see uh, him out there, man. I don't know what. The Bulls playing this for him, but I, I thought that was dope to see. Um, Dante, man, I know, I know, we, we was also joking around saying we didn't think he was gonna play again. What did, what did, what did, what did you like to see from what you did see of him in this preseason game? Uh, you see why he was so greatly missed on this team, like the the hockey assist, just constantly pushing the ball up court, even though he wasn't really. It looked like he wasn't really trying to push it too hard. He was just, you know, really just getting his feet wet, getting into a rhythm. Um, the jumper, the the three pointer is still there, which is something that you know, all of the work he put in as a shooter, you know. He was shooting 40% from three, you know, league average is 36. So that's really good. And so that's something that the Bulls have leaned it for years. They've usually at the bottom at three pointers made, you know, like as a matter of fact, I think last season they were they made the least amount of threes and they gave up the most threes. So having somebody like Zoe back who can not only knock down threes, but stop the other team from hitting threes, that's big. And so I mean, it's just unfortunate because now we finally at a time where I actually wouldn't be mad if they were bad and ended up with a third pick instead of the first pick because it's enough talent at the top of the draft and you can get a really impactful player. But uh, as is, I think this team looks like a a playing team. You feel me? Like, and that's what we don't want, but that's what they look like, and that's what they uh they don't mind doing. And uh, it is I, what it is, bro. But I'll I'm say this. happy for some. I'll say this. I, I do not believe the team that we see right now is going to be a team. That I feel like it's going to be a lot of niggas traded. I, I just – and that's just not my – that's not no Bulls optimism or nothing, but I, I do not see uh, – especially Zach Levine. I think Zach Levine and Vooch are going to be gone eventually. I would be shocked if Zach Levine is still on this team come Martin Luther King Day. I'm going to be 100% right. I think it's just a matter of time. Uh, Bang, any, any thoughts on this before we move to our last topic? I mean, of course, I didn't see the game because – Nobody can see the game. Yeah. Ow. Uh, but it was good to see the highlights of him back on the uh, on on the court. Um, hell, it was it was so good seeing the highlights. Considering what we saw with Kawhi Leonard, it's like yo, who got the better knee, um, Lonzo or Kawhi? And does Kawhi got to do the same thing? Shout out Big Lonzo. Tech Why? He like nigga, you gonna pay me, bro, to not yeah. play anything? Um, but as far as the team goes, I think it's a still a jag for flag pause type of situation. <laughs> um. Um, I think that the pieces, the young, I am excited to see more about this team because the young pieces that they do have on the team looks like they're going to be competitive. They're just going to lose a lot of games. And I'm one of those people that if you just got a bad team and they just bad with no hope, then I ain't going to pay attention. Yeah. But I do see what the potential can be, especially in this draft where 
this draft is not just one to two people. The first part of this lottery have stars in it. So excited to see what might happen, but it was great to see him on the court and be successful on the court too. And he got a whole new ass set of ligaments in his knee.